met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And this one drops incomplete, but I think the defense jumped. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. And the ball moved up here now to second and seven following the penalty. Operating from the gun. No egg. That's complete. He's getting partly out of the backfield. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Hey, look at the defense for these Texans. And they're a tough unit to throw against. Currently fourth toughest in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB. <laughs> that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week but they failed on that third down play that brings up fourth down and they'll probably have to punt it away they punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away and this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed them up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and one great way to judge a defense, how do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire. Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Oh, tight end. He's got good straight line speed and on that route. He's often the guy that gets overworked. Nice job there of finding him in stride for really good yardage. Rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Giants are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. For a team who came in here on a healthy winning streak, we're seeing some uncharacteristically bad play thus far. And that streak is definitely in jeopardy if this offense keeps giving the ball away and can't mount a few drives of their own. The first down run, not going to get them a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. Well, this defense for the Texans, they were terrific a week ago when they went over Washington. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. First and ten, no whack. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. The Giants had two and two through the first four weeks of the season. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around. I expect them to play really well here. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. <laughs> Down. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's 
intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it. And now Marco races down the right side. And they will score a pick six for the Texans TD. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. Hasn't missed an extra point all season, and he won't miss this one either. And it's 7 0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go away. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Hey, look at the defense for these Texans. Now, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You know, no fly zones and things of that <laughs> nature. This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. Here's a second and eight. Operating from the gun, Nowak. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Operating from the gun, no way. And that is incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. This is taken at the 15. A 45-yard punt, four there on the return. And the Texans will take over. Houston's offense is set to get going. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback. And got his man complete. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Houston. Take down his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Butker on for the PAT. Jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL. <laughs> Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. A 
short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. Hard throw, incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their teammates. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Taken in at the 22. Call that a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. <laughs> the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not that's really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll Jackie try to duplicate Ranger. that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Come on, come on. Hey. Panther 60, Panther 3, 3. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Let's go now. Big Lion. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. 18, Pioneer. Ready. Stroud now on first and 10. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Houston. Take down. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Texans have moved out in front by three touchdowns. The PAT would extend their lead, but there is a flag on the play. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. Anytime you feel the kickoff inside your own end zone, you've got to be decisive about whether you're bringing it out or not. Sometimes that indecision can really cost you. That may have been what happened on that play. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled them up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Off the play thing. No whack. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. Looking to throw, no whack. He'll look downfield for Waller, and this is incomplete. Oh, a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Play action, no whack. Throwing left sideline there, 
but it's incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. The offense on third down tonight. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Ready, ready. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that, Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now Hot for first 70, and 10. Ready, right? Stroud. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not Got that tough. Second and 10. Stroud completes his out wide. Even with the good block, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Stroud wants to change it up with an audible. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. <laughs> Here's second and ten. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Inside the 10, check, just shy check, of the check, 5 at the go. 6. Carter, they don't need to run him. another play here before the 2-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now they'll Tiger, audible to something Tiger. else. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Toward the pylon, caught it. Touchdown, Texans. From six yards the Texans are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tied in, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering, and they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield. They're eligible, too. is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. The 
Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scoring the drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter? run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Not many boos just yet from this home crowd, but they may be starting soon as I'm starting to detect an uneasy murmur through this crowd. This offense, they've been lifeless in this first half, and now here's another punting situation and a fourth down. Fielded at the 20. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with a 28-0 lead, you figure they're just going to be happy to take this lead right into the locker room. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Second and a couple. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. Caught left side. Here's Dell. Seven yards there and a first down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. First and ten, it's Stroud. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Assume this defense will be charging hey, again here at second and 15. Panther 11, Panther 11. Now Stroud. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick. I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. First and ten. Trap sixty. Trap sixty. Go. Stroud out of the gun here. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Oh, and that is incomplete. Partner, they've been aggressive airing it out all game long, and no better evidence than those last two snaps. They weren't going to beat this coverage though. Two plays in a row. And that one falls incomplete. Ready, break. Now a second and ten. Here's Stroud. That is caught by Dell. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 
Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right. And it is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Marvin Mims in the final seconds of the first half. And the Texans will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes this 35 to nothing now. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. People are getting paid. People are casting it. All right, way to go. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. The drive starts with a completion, left side. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a deep <laughs> Stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. You gotta step it up. Oh, my grandma can play better than that. Come on, teamwork. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun. No whack. Pass taken in. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. There's a nice pickup right there. And after watching that play, I'm thinking about all the lost opportunities that they've had so far in this game. But right now, just focus on continuing to move the ball the way they did on the last play.
So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. They'll look to throw again. It's caught inside the 25. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be out of bounds. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big time moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Barkley hit and the ball pops free. And the Texans scoop it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know a lot of defensive coaches have certain guys. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Again to Barkley out of the gun. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley. He has career touchdown number 78, tying in with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Giants are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. It's no good on the PAT, so they can't add on here. And our score is going to stay right where it is. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Ready. And Stroud now to throw. And he can't get away from the pressure. The Giants get there. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. 19 right. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Cowboy 80. Warriors 17. Mustang 19. Ready, ready. Stroud to throw it. Now, back foot throw there is incomplete. 
absolutely nowhere to go with the football, and he's just going to put this one in the Hudson River. Maybe he's a little fortunate he didn't get called for grounding because that one was well over everyone's head. Come on, Third come quarter on. on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Go, Reed, go. Check it, check it. Just shouting him off there. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Careful, careful, careful. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in for second half blowout material. The throwing again is Stroud. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. And if anyone thinks they're just going to tuck their horns in and pull back off the throttle a little bit, you can forget it. Even with this big third quarter lead, I think this team's going to continue to take their shots downfield, and there's another completion. Let's go now. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. down they'll go to the ground attack they'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three i do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game you're now doing the dictating on defense and guess what now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt It's second and seven from the nine. Throwing now is Stroud. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! A great effort there. With his 19th touchdown, his second of the game. And the Texans have taken a five touchdown lead. Is on target, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. He'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectful. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So eight yards on the completion there, and that will bring up third and one. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. <laughs> These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Off the play fade. No way. Rolling to his left. Come on, Taylor, you slow bitch. He's been patient this entire game, waiting for the perfect moment to surprise him with a quarterback keeper. There he catches him off guard and converts his first rush of the game into a first down. Gotta love that efficiency. On first down, they'll 
first down. No whack. He finds Hopkins complete. On the move past the 40. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. It's a big-time play there for the G-Man. 44 yards. Give him now 1,062 catches in his career. And I'm looking at the list here. That ties him with Andre Johnson. And I wonder if he ever wrote Andre Johnson's name down and that number and said, that's where I'm trying to go. That's where I'm trying to get to. If so, congratulate yourself. You are there. That means you rank amongst the best that have ever done it. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. throw here out of the gun this is caught touchdown Giants Darius Slayton <coughs> and the Giants are able to at least get one score back well executed there offensively defense looked a little confused but he found his receiver and that one good for six points and the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. And it's no good. No, oh, he misses the extra point, and our score stays right where it is. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Ready. Play action. Here's Stroud. That's caught left side by the tight end, Jordan. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Stroud looking to change the play. Check, man. Bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Ready. Stroud off the play fake. Take Dell, 35 yards. And the Texans are well on their way to a 5-0 start as they extend their lead. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The 
Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go to the heavy. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Henry Toto there to bring him down defensively. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about, not just a sack but a big win built off the efforts of this defense. Looking to throw on second down. Nowak. This pass complete to Higgins. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, particularly running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. He's got his right back out of the backfield. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 30 yards there, and of course the first down as well. Back to throw, Nowak. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. <clears throat> and they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw again. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. <laughs> get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Third down and goal now, and this Houston defense not backing down. They'll look for one more stop. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they hit him as he throws. As this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. They try to throw on fourth and goal from the two. And this Texans defense comes up with a goal line stand. Okay, break. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Buffalo 18! 60 Maverick! 60 Maverick! Go! Stroud looking to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard stripe. Ready, ready. 
So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few go, guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. Stroud, he's going to audible to something else. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Jordan. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Butker now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Out is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. The left side is intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, this game was already decided, Charles, let's be honest, but now Ready? another feather in the cap of this defense as they pick him off for the second time. You're right about Ready? that. Things have been going pretty well for them, to put it mildly, but they're still out there hunting for good plays and get another one right there. Now the Texans have earned the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Ready, check. Go, check. Go, check. Ready. Now here's a quick throw out to Mims. Down the sideline he goes, and he will get into the end zone to get to touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. It's caught at the five. And he will step out of bounds. Oh, what a mistake there. And the two-point try will be unsuccessful. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. And nowhere to go. He only makes it to the five. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board.
<laughs> the Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. And the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Amari Barno. Oh, my goodness, CD. I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball. But for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them here in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive coordinator, right? When they go back and review this game, what does he always tell us that he preaches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, they're doing that in this game as well as making big plays. Well, fans expect these primetime slots to deliver some of the best games each week. And, well, one team has certainly followed through with that tonight. Just an absolute clinic, Charles, on offense here. And they don't seem to be done trying to drive that football. Yeah, and continue your theme about one team enjoying it. One fan base is enjoying it as well. The other fan base, they might disagree with what they've seen. But the one that's winning, they're certainly getting their money's worth. They'll try to run this one in. And they score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals sometimes offense if you get too cute down near the goal line but there's nothing fancy about this one as coach Lombardi would say we get a seal here and we get a seal here and we run this play in the alley come on, come and that's on. good work to end the hole hard and finish in the end zone three, three, three. Let's go. that's caught at the two and he will not make it to the goal line as this try for two is going to come up empty. But that's little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. And the Texans say they have it. They do. Well, there you go. Just your everyday leading big. And Kick it with a lead. They got it. I mean, it worked, but interesting call. I think because they have such a margin, they feel a little bit bolder about what they're doing. And it's not only just to try and increase their lead, but that's their way of saying we're in full control of this game and we can kind of do what we want. Now it looks like he'll throw here. another touchdown this thing is ugly extra point by Butker is on target and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away and they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40 The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one certainly was and I think both sides competed